Alright, so the Rocket Racing game mode just released, and right now they're having all sorts of issues, especially with Ranked, which is pretty much every game mode. And right now they're having quite a few issues. You can see there's only one person playing it because matchmaking is scuffed. So when you try to play a match, and every match is ranked, by the way, this is what happens. It won't work. So if you're trying to play right now, you're not alone. It's not working. But you can play these tracks, and these work, except these don't count as ranked gameplay. So you can kind of practice on all these, but in order to play ranked, you have to go up here to the orange one. Anyway, that's not what I want to talk about. In this video, I wanted to talk about the pricing for the cars in the item shop because they are ridiculous. So as you may have noticed, the prices are pretty extravagant here. So the diesel is 4,000 V-Bucks. 4,000. And what you get is a rare car and then some decals. Now, one of the decals is epic. So it's the purple rarity and it does look pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. But... Everything else is common in here, except for this one. This one's rare, which is blue. And of course, you can customize the car to your heart's content with some pretty solid colors. However, 4,000 V-Bucks is a lot of money. If I go to my V-Bucks tab here, that's pretty much $37. That's the cheapest you're going to get it. $36 to $37 for one single item in Fortnite. You can buy a game for $37. That is crazy high priced. So the other ones, the Jaeger 619 and the Cyclone, are 2500 That's a little better, but still, I think that's kind of pricey. That's way more than a Fortnite skin, but I've never played Rocket League, so I don't know how much these cost over there either. So with the Jaeger and the Cyclone, you've got all common, aka white, rarity styles for the decals. So nothing really fancy, but you can still obviously change the color for the car if you want. So 2500 a little pricey. Now, one of the selling points is that, as you can see in the bottom right, it says purchasing this item will also make it available in Rocket League. So there's cross-game collaborations going on here. Same thing for the Diesel. So in that regard, it's really cool. If you're a big fan of Rocket League, you can buy it here in Fortnite and use it in Rocket League and vice versa. But still, the price tags are huge. So even a lot of my friends that buy everything in the item shop, they're saying, no, nah, we're not buying that. That's way too expensive, especially this Diesel one, 4000 that's ridiculous. So the Fortnite status Twitter account did tweet something out. This is what they said. It says, hey everyone, we know that the shop may not be correctly displaying the intended offerings and we're working to fix it. Stay tuned for an update when the shop has been fixed. So I'm not 100% sure what that means. The intended offerings. Does that mean they're not showing the right items? Or does that mean they're not showing the right prices? So that's what I can't comprehend here. So I'm hoping it's the actual pricing that's the issue and not what's being displayed here. I would like to see these under 2,000 V-Bucks for all of them. And I have no idea why the diesel is way more expensive. To me, this car right here looks like the one we get for free in the Battle Pass, which is this right here, the Scorpion. I mean, I guess this one's a little more smushed, a little more short, but they're very similar. So the data miner Fire Monkey tweeted a few tweets about this, and I read them a few times and I still don't understand what it means, but I'll show you right here what he said. So first of all, he tweeted, each of the rocket racing vehicles are priced at 250 V-Bucks on their own, with decals being priced at 50 V-Bucks each and color trims being priced at 150 V-Bucks each, but you can only purchase them in the bundle. So he says the vehicles are only 250 V-Bucks, that's crazy cheap. So then he says, slight correction, according to the API, the base cost for the following vehicles are, the diesel is 1,150 V-Bucks, the Jaeger is 250, and the Cyclone is 250. Then he says, this incorrect pricing is most likely why the diesel bundle price is insanely high. So maybe the Jaeger and the Cyclone are correct at the 2,500 price, but the diesel one being 4,000 shouldn't be that high. So that might be the only one that's messed up. So it was my birthday the other day and I actually got a V-Bucks gift card from one of my friends and they gave me 5,000 V-Bucks. So knowing what we just learned from Fire Monkey and seeing the tweet from Fortnite's status account, I think there's an issue here. So I'm gonna bite the bullet and use my gift card. I'm not spending real life money on this. I would never shell out $36 for a vehicle in Fortnite. I'm just putting that out there right now. This is a gift from one of my friends in real life for my birthday. I'm going to use it to buy this bundle in hopes that this is the wrong price and you may be compensated in some way. So I'm only buying this for testing purposes. That's it. 
So we're going to see what happens. If it really is a price adjustment, I'll see if they compensate you or give you your money back or refund you the amount you spent in extra. We'll see. So here we go. I'm going to redeem my Fortnite V-Bucks card and buy this bundle and see what happens. Okay, so I just redeemed my card. I got enough V-Bucks to buy it now. I'm going to go ahead and purchase it. There we go. So you can see all the cool paint styles you can put on it. And then, of course, the decals with this one being the very brightest one there. That's pretty cool. Lucky 7, but I like the double zero as well. And you get all these, and there's the car itself, the diesel. So you may be thinking, well, Tabor, why did you do that? What if you don't get any compensation or anything? Well, the good news is I never, ever use my refund tokens. So as you can see, I have three return tickets available. So I did not waste my V-Bucks card at all. Don't worry. If I don't get compensated, I will 100% use my return ticket, get all my V-Bucks back, and it will be like I didn't waste any V-Bucks at all. So I thought this out. Don't worry. I'm not just throwing my V-Bucks away willy-nilly here. I thought it through. And you can also cancel your purchase within 24 hours as long as I don't use it. And I don't plan on using it. So I've got two fail safes here. It's not like I just threw my V-Bucks away. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. But I'm also testing to see if they compensate. That was the entire point. So don't worry. I didn't just waste my V-Bucks there. But here's the comparison between the two. I guess, yeah, there is a noticeable difference. The Scorpion is a little more smushed together. Not bad. So there you go. Prices are sky high in the item shop right now. 4000 and 2500 for the other ones. When Fortnite status fixes this, I will let you know and we'll see if at all what the new prices are. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.